and perhaps one of the greatest contributions that the Hizmet movement uh, can make in the world or is making in the world is teaching the, these habits of the heart associated with generosity of spirit, uh, of giving, and they do this without any request for payback. My group of uh, Turkish graduate students who studied at the University of California. My name is Robert Spitzer. I am a, a retired lawyer and a trial court judge living here in Southern California. I first became aware of and learned about the Hizmet movement in 2008 when I was invited to visit Turkey by a group of uh, Turkish graduate students who were uh, studying at the University of California, Riverside. Alexis de Tocqueville, a 19th century French observer of American culture, had a phrase in describing America of habits of the heart. And perhaps one of the greatest contributions that the Hizmet movement uh, can make in the world, or is making in the world, is teaching the, these habits of the heart associated with generosity of spirit, uh, of giving, and they do this without any request for payback. It's an unrequited gift, uh, one that is not expecting anything in return, an example of, of true love. Most Americans know very little about Turkey. And the little that they know about Islam makes them fearful. The individuals in the Hizmet movement present to Americans uh, a life of Islam which is not frightening, which uh, where the values and concerns relate primarily to those of, of family and uh, faith in watching them around, you know, dinner tables and breakfast tables, and, and in groups, they appear just like us. They bridge the gap that fear has created between the Muslim world and, if you will, white America. A different religion from the one that you acquired from your parents will often raise questions, but it will also arouse fear. In my experience, interfaith dialogue between Muslims and non-Muslims translates uh, to experiences where, which are shared within a group where people discover that they have more in common in faith than what they believed they had coming in. People learned that uh, Father Abraham was the father prophet of all three monotheistic religions. Uh, they learned that Jesus and the Virgin Mary are discussed in the Quran. People learned that the prophet conversed with Jesus and Moses during the night journey to Jerusalem. All of these educational experiences, as with all education, brings people together, lessens fear, makes them more like brothers and sisters in a world of faith. It has also been my experience with regard to uh, interfaith dialogue 
that this exposes uh, individuals uh, to opportunities to, to share their uh, cultural heritage, the opportunity to uh, share food, uh, music, art, uh, dance, in a family context, uh, again, brings people uh, together. In my experience, the Hizmet movement has been very involved with uh, interfaith dialogue as a dynamic in bringing people together. Uh, when I was in, in Turkey, the uh, movement uh, guides uh, took me to uh, churches, mosques, uh, as well as uh, synagogues, uh, and were open to uh, discuss the various differences and similarities between the faiths. In Southern California, we have an Anatolian festival uh, every year or two where communities from Turkey uh, come, uh, including the Armenian uh, community, which uh, has a, a, a church, and the Jewish uh, community. Uh, and there are opportunities to uh, discuss religion with uh, people of other faiths. Uh, also, the Pacifica Institute, which operates uh, within California and most of the western uh, United States, sponsors uh, occasional or regular, I should say, uh, interfaith dialogue groups where individuals who are interested in discussing matters of faith uh, can come and uh, discuss particular topics. Again, a lot of their interfaith work deals primarily with talking about customs and traditions and holidays uh, which are the surface of faith and have the effect of communicating how similar we all are as opposed to how different the various religions may want to characterize us. We talk about plain politics and Historically speaking, the current conflict between the ruling party and the Hizmet movement and uh, Mr. Golan appears like the kind of partisan politics that uh, exists in, in this country from uh, time to time, and I would suggest has always existed between power of government or the uh, political power in any given state uh, and those individuals who would uh, criticize the way that government uh, treats its uh, people or operates. Uh, it has, uh, with regard to the, the Hizmat movement, religious uh, caste uh, to it, but otherwise it's, it's no different than the same kind of uh, criticism that is often imposed on individuals or groups by other, by their political opponents uh, or people who see themselves as political opponents uh, within uh, their country. Democracy in America is 225 years old and we are still struggling with uh, issues of uh, economic uh, equality, civil rights. Uh, we fought a a civil war uh, after we had been in existence for a uh, hundred years and then it took another hundred years in order to establish uh, the rights of uh, certain minorities in, in the country including uh, blacks and Latinos. And those struggles have continued. So we have a, a longer view. Turkey and, or should I say democracy in Turkey and uh, the Hizmet movement are uh, only a couple generations old. 225 years is about 10 generations. So I would uh, want to give more time to see how all of these conflicts, which are natural when, you, when people are, are living together, how they are going to work themselves out, how the, the people in Turkey will uh, learn to live with each other and with people who have different ideas than they have. I think it takes about 
five generations, and now you're only two generations old. So uh, I think it will be my children and my grandchildren who will see where Turkey is and where it will lead. And in many ways, because they have, they occupy a particular place in the world geographically, uh, Turkey is in a position uh, to act as an example and model for all of its neighbors uh, better than the United States, which is pretty far away. We live in a world that is full of fear. And a lot of fear in the West is fear of Muslims. Uh, the Hizmet movement has been tremendously effective, in my opinion, in showing the true face of Islam that it's a religious tradition that in many ways is no different than Judaism or Christianity. I see there is a common purpose uh, of like-minded people in a very grassroots way coming together, uh, pushing for some ideals that they believe in in the society. And I'm touched by the genuine uh, motivation of the of the people that I've met.